I do believe there is our new windshield that's going to be going on Roglad, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so welcome back. So um, as you guys were staying tuned to the previous video, which I'll make sure is loaded somewhere in the screen here, so you can definitely check out the replacement on the horn cover of the bike that we did the uh, horn cover replacement on as well. And of course, got the white lovely green Mustang here behind me, which we've got a couple videos of those as well on the channel. But if you'll actually turn around with me here, there is the Road Glide. So 2015 Amber Whiskey Road Glide Special. Uh, just changed out a couple things at this point, and uh, we will be doing much more as we go along, you know, with the gloss black painted interfering as well, which I really didn't like the one that had the standard, I believe it was the one with the matte black, but uh, yeah, I definitely had to go with that. So what we've all been waiting for, what I've been waiting on, because this front windshield here, that comes on the bike is great it looks really cool right but it's really uh, dysfunctional uh, I don't really know what else to say about it other than it's just when you're riding with this there's just wind coming straight at you as single or double riders so in this happy little box right here it looks like we have a mid shades windshield that has been delivered and what I really like is the labels that they put on it here, so you know, parts unlimited, a glass handle of carrier. Even though it's not glass, they want to make sure that it's being taken care of. Made in the USA, obviously USA made bike, USA parts. And then we actually went with the MEP86010, which transitions to the 6.5 dark black smoke windshield with the flip-up. And, um, yeah looks like she'll be ready to put on very simple install which we're going to include here today which will give a close-up of the stock windshield here we'll have to end up removing these screws but if you can see down in there uh, this windshield lifts off very easily which you can just back these screws out a little bit and pull the windshield off the Memphis shades will show you a little bit closer that you actually have to back these screws all the way out and then install the Memphis shades uh, we're gonna do a ride um, after we do the unboxing so we'll do the unboxing um, show the installation here as well of moving the windshields over but before we do the unboxing we're gonna take a quick ride and kind of show a little bit more in depth of the rideability of the windshield um, kind of show you where we're getting the wind it's kind of all over the difference of the road glide and the like ultra classic and your street glides is you don't get a lot of wind build up here because you've got so much fairing protect you and you know uh, air deflectors right here on the bottom of the fairing but um, it is a different ride than if you're riding the street glide in the ultra because the fairing does sit a little lower and some of our seats like our touring seat our ultra tour seat sits a lot higher so we wanted something to deflect a lot of that wind obviously we didn't want to get rid of all the buffering because we like that wind that's the whole point of you know riding but we also want to hear the radio um, of course to each is their own, but as we get done, we'll take a look at everything. Good shots of actually riding and doing a review. Uh, I didn't, unfortunately, have enough money to go with anything larger. I would have loved to try their 8-inch and their 10-inch, but those will come, you know, will be to come here later as well as we get on into things. Plus, another thing is you probably see here in the background, here is my wife's 2014 Sportster. 1200 we've got the cover off here as you know anything about these covers they're just they're really bulky the stock ones and real thick and for her being five foot nothing it's really hard for her to get to her brake lever so while she is getting used to the bike we actually took the cover off so she can easily get to it no big deal we'll pop it back on there or we may just change it out when we get ready to tune it and we've got to change the pipes out so stay tuned for that more videos to come on that bike as well but stay tuned, we're going to do an unboxing, we'll do the changing of the windshields, take a look at both of them, and then we will also take a test ride on both, kind of take you guys along for the ride, and um, yeah, new microphone for the GoPro should be here soon, so the other microphone is broken, so it's not good, so got another one on the way, so as soon as it arrives here, we'll be on the bike and go for a ride. And I wasn't sure if I was going to go with Memphis Shades, or if I was going to go with Clockworks, um, which everybody has their own preference and what I was really looking for was one price I mean there's hundred dollars in price right there and then also uh, durability what it looked like on the bike and functionality 
because quite frankly these windshields on these bikes look really cool but literally when you're sitting back here on top of the bike it's just like a funnel coming at you constantly and we'll do some test riding here as well with the stock windshield so we'll take a look at the unboxing we'll get you guys set up here to kind of take a look at everything and we'll do an unboxing kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison as well and then also look at an installation so stay tuned all right guys so let's get her opened up in the box. And they do put a little note here as well. It does say caution, take care not to over tighten the mounting screws. Only lightly snug them to avoid damage to the windshield and our fairing. So definitely make sure we're following the instructions there. Simple masking tape will remove. Weston would say professionally cataloging that box this side, lay it down on the ground here. Trust the screwdriver out. Piece of tape. And there she is. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the screws out of the stock windshield, put the Memphis shades on, and go from there. Now look at that. Got the other windshield laying there on the ground. Definitely don't want to step. Probably could put that in a much better place. But man, the difference on that lip. Check that out. Now, another thing that you probably saw in the quick speed up of everything is I was having some issues with the edge of my gasket right there that goes in between the windshield and your vent there just take your time I actually did have to back this screw out a couple times um, a lot of people what they don't know is they'll go in here and start prying at things they'll slip and chip their paint this is rubber it's really soft so definitely don't pry on it you got a little bit of room to push down on it here and lift up on your windshield to slowly tighten these and just go around make sure that your gasket's seated all the way up it's going to take some time after some heat and sunshine to conform to it perfectly but overall I think she looks great and then just comparing the stock windshield here and I believe the stock windshield measures to eight and a half and I think they call it a six and they call that a 6.5 but that really measures or this is eight I believe and that measures to eight and three quarter but you can see the difference here as we line them up just about exactly the same and the difference in size and where they go to you can actually see right there where that wind is going to propel around us versus into us so this acts basically as a funnel right here as it cuts in this stands up higher and rounds out so the wind is forced out and over so just sitting on the bike you got that nice clear view right there. I can still see over the windshield, but where it comes, it's right at my chin where I ride. So we still got a lot of room for that air when it hits the front of the bike to propel up. 
So hopefully after the test rides, taking a look at the quick installation video, guys and gals, this is something you can easily do yourself here, um, unless you just want somebody to install it. Like I always say on most of my videos, take your time, don't ever tighten anything. Um, if something don't feel right, back it out, do it again. As you'll notice, as I work on a lot of my vehicles, I don't use power tools. Unless I just cannot break it loose with my actual tools in my hand, I don't use power tools. Reason being, this isn't made for power tools, it's plastic. Well, the makeup compound of what they put into the windshield, but all of this stuff is easily breakable. Now, I'll still probably go up, I'm a perfectionist, so I'm probably gonna back these screws out slowly and just work that gasket in there but man she definitely turned out nice so thanks for viewing hope this video helps and uh, maybe one day we can get the 8 inch and the 10 inch up here or it might be the 8 and a half I believe either way um, go ahead and get them get them a review but by the way Memphis Shades awesome job uh, thank you again thumbs up please smash that subscribe button and uh, follow me for more we're going to be doing a lot more to this a lot more to the Sportster so definitely stay tuned